Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Quaker Sports Recap. It was a great week for our Quaker sports teams. Our boys volleyball continued to run over opponents, as did our girls swim team at the ECIC Championship. I attended the football game Friday and cheered on our Quakers in their tough loss to Jamestown as they look forward to their playoff run. I also watched our girls and boys cross country teams as they continue their dominance over section six which i'll tell you about next let's get right to it on tuesday our number one ranked lady quakers face off against the number three ranked williamsville door while our number four boys uh, ran against the number nine ranked williamsville north boys the energy was high on senior night as the team thanked and honored those seniors who helped to make it incredibly strong for both boys and girls. Our runners on both teams dominated the boys and girls from Williamsville in a race that the boys and girls ran together. After the race, I caught up with Coach Dillsworth and asked him how will the team react to losing three boys runners who are ranked in the top 200 in New York State. Definitely a big loss to, to lose those kiddos. Um, they've been, uh, I mean, they've been so much to the team over the years. But uh, I think the, the biggest loss is the experience that they bring, right? Um, I mean, they've, they've been on the team, you know, if you add it up, they've been on the team for over a decade. So to lose that experience is, is something. Um, but, you know, it's just a next man up kind of thing, right? Um, the kids who are coming up from down below will take over their spots and take over the leadership roles. Coming into the race, you rank fourth in the coaches' poll. The Williamsville North is ranked ninth. How did you prepare for this? Ooh. Um... I didn't, I didn't know those rankings. That was good. <laughs> um, how do we prepare for, I mean, dual meets, we, we tend to run our dual meets kind of more like a workout than, um, than an actual race. Um, and that prepares us for our bigger meets, which are on weekends, you know, the invitationals where you're running against a lot of different schools. Um, so we kind of use these as, as kind of practice races, if you will. Um, but they're, you know, they're good um, real races that we do that give kids actual race experience without a lot over their heads. ECIC are coming up this week, followed up by sectionals next week, and the states after. I asked Coach Dillsworth how he prepares his team to peak at championship time. So that is that's a that's a many weeks. Um, so I mean, I typically break the season up into two halves. Um, so you have like these two parts of the season uh and i take the week in between as like a lull um so you train and you build up your mileage for the first several weeks of the season and you have that week lull and then you build back up um, and then the week just before we typically decrease mileage and taper down a little bit um, and then use that to hopefully peak at just the right time big win for Orchard park against williamsville north today cross country wasn't the only quaker team with big wins last week Boys volleyball and girls swim continued their dominance. Field hockey secured a good playoff seed, and Cheer had an excellent showing Saturday at Iroquois. Let's take a look at how our teams did. Boys varsity volleyball had two great wins this week. Also, JV, var JV volleyball had two great wins this week. Varsity field hockey had two great wins this week over Seneca West and Pioneer, and JV had a great win this week. Football and varsity and JV both had two tough losses to Jamestown. Girls varsity swimming finished first place in the ECIC championships this week. Congratulations. Girls varsity cross country had a win over Williamsville North. And boys cross country on the same day beat Williamsville North and finished first place in the Lakeshore Sunset Sampede. Another great week for our Quaker student athletes. Up next, we have our seven or so question segment. This week, featuring sophomore girls varsity golf team member Abby Conway. Let's learn more about Abby. Do you have any hobbies? I golf. <laughs> Besides golf, outside of golfing. Um, I like walking my dog, and I like reading, and you know, stuff like that. <laughs> If you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be? Taylor Swift. What is your favorite Taylor Swift song? All of them. I can't even name one. Well, you gotta pick one. Okay, anything I... off folklore. Folklore is good. Which one? I don't know. There's too many. You can't have me pick one.
What is your favorite sports memory? Anything with Charlotte. She's like the funniest person in the world. When did you start playing golf? When did your earliest memory of golf? Um, in like seventh grade, I would go out with my dad, but it wasn't really a lot. Last year was my first year really playing, so I've been golfing for two years. What's your favorite subject in school? English. What's your favorite school lunch? Um, goldfish. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pineapple and ham. If you could be any animal, what would it be? Probably a bird, because I want to fly. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's Quaker Sports Recap. As we move toward the end of the fall season and start the playoffs, the action is really heating up. I hope you can get out and enjoy a game match or meet. I hope to see you there and we can cheer on our teams together. Make sure to get to as many games as you can, matches or meets, by the way. Until next week, go Quakers!